Yes, so um, let's continue from that where we left off. So uh, here, we have the working drawing. Um, so for the floor plan, you get six marks here for the floor plan. And um, there are some conditions that you must satisfy for you to get these full marks for the floor plan. And I will go in a bit, in a little while, I will explain to you exactly what you're looking for on the floor plan. Foundation plan, roof plan, detail, sectional, sectional, elevation, and um, elevation. So you have to get two marks for knowledge here, five marks for application, and um, that much marks for the whole section. <clears throat> um, you also get functionality. Functionality, this is how functional, how much, how, how, how properly your design work, <clears throat> yeah? <clears throat> um, if someone design a garage with a 900 millimeter door, that definitely would be a problem because a car cannot pass through a regular sized door. So that door is dysfunctional, all right? Suitability of materials. Um, next, you'd be required to produce a material list or, or, or um, describe each component of the SPA. So you'll be required to um, state the type of material that you'll be using to design the house. If it's block, if, it, if it's um, um, CMU block you're using or regular six inches block, some person might choose other types of material. For example, your roof, some person might use um, tile, some person might use, um, well, different zinc, some person might use shingle. So you will need to state the material, all right? You'll also need to state material will include also types of board or timber that you use. So we will check to ensure, well, well, the steel, the steel bars, the types of stones that is used. So here is where suitability of material comes in, yeah? Um, also for the roof, the size of your rafters, yeah? Those are also very important, yeah? And also conforming to building standard. Dimensions. We will be checking to ensure that your dimensions are correct, yeah? Uh, we are supposed to be, be 1,500, is actually 1,500. We're checking to ensure that your dimension and technique is also correct. I, here, we check to ensure that you're, you're, um, you're, you're using the forward tip for building drawing and um, shaded arrows for plane and solid geometry. <clears throat> we also check to ensure that um, your dimension doesn't touch the drawing. There's a offset from object of, uh, say, 200 millimeters. Checking to ensure that your dimensions are visible, they're large enough, yeah? and um, that they are properly aligned, yeah? Uh -huh. Dimension, dimension, and dimension here also, techniques, is how you dimension your, your thing, the type of lines that you use, lettering, and um, the use of symbols. See, for example, on your sectional view, you use the correct section in for uh, wall, you use the correct section in for timber. Correct section is used for hardcore, earth, gravel, stone, etc. And also um, uh, presentation slash neatness is how you present your SBA. SBA as it's as a name where it needs needs to be typed of this typed. Um, the pages are properly organized. Everything is neat, well put together. Um, during your presentation, you did you project yourself, you articulate yourself very well, stuff like that. So for the section, you get a total of 45 for practical ability, 20 for knowledge, five for um, application, five for knowledge, All right? And um, this is pretty much a mark scheme for the other project, the, the, the fundamentals of technical drawing. So you get four marks for the uh, first section and um, six marks for the second section, which is total of 10 marks. Um, and this, this is the 
weighting of the paper for the exam. This is basically how marks are distributed overall. So um, for the, ex well, the, the exam has two papers. It has a multiple choice section wherein you're given 60 multiple choice to do in 70 minutes. Paper two, which is a structured question section. Here you're giving two questions and these questions are mandatory. One is a drawing question, which can be a floor plan, a foundation, a roof, a sectional view, pretty much any part of the building drawing section. All right. And for that, that is marked out of 90. There is a free and sketch section, which you're required to do, and that is marked out of 30. All right. The SBA, the total marks for that is 40%. So the multiple choice constitutes 20% of your total marks. Your paper two, which is the drawing section, that, that um, constitutes a total of 40 marks. And your SBA value a total of 40, of, uh, 40 marks, which gives a total of 100% overall. All right? It's a checklist for the different components of um, different components that, we, that I, I speak to earlier on. But the, here is a specification for the floor plan. So um, I'll be checking for these things. <clears throat> so the load bearing walls should be 150 millimeters. The non load bearing wall or the internal walls should be 100 millimeters. Your standard door opening should be 900 millimeters. The minimum size of your bedroom should be 3,000 by 3,000. So if your drawing has a bedroom which is less than 3,000, you'll mark down for that. All right, so this is the minimum size for a bedroom, average size, um, etc. Your kitchen should not be less than 3,000 by 3,000. Your standard bathroom should not be less than 1,500 wide by 2,400. And uh, the minimum size for living room should not be less than 4,000 by 5,500 5, millimeters. Minimum size for the dining room should be 3,000 by 3,000. Right? And um, your passage should be approximately 1,200 millimeters. Um, the garage, if it's for one car, it should not be closer than 3,500 millimeters by 6,000. For two cars, it should be 7,000 by 600. And um, the minimum size for the wardrobe should be 750 deep by, can be four feet wide. So this would be the checklist for your foundation plan. What I'm checking for on your foundation plan is to ensure that um, the foundation plan is the exact copy of the layout, exact copy is an exact copy of the floor plan layout. Yeah. And on the floor plan layout, check, check to ensure that your foundation plan has no windows or doors, has footings and columns are parallel to all walls, that the floor plan outline is hatched or broken, that columns, stiffeners, or hatches are solid, that all rooms are fully labeled all rooms are fully dimensioned, that no windows are visible on the foundation plan, no doors are visible on the foundation plan, and it is scaled and tied to block. I checklist for the roof. When I'm marking your roof, I will be checking to ensure that wall outlines are hatched or broken, no windows or doors are visible, and the roof outline. Uh, no fixtures, no fixture, These are visible. Wall outline is the exact copy of floor plan outline as drawn on floor plan. And I would also be checking to ensure that your overhang is between 450 to 700 millimeters. I will also be checking to ensure that your fascia board is 25 millimeters that your hip rafters 
very importantly, your hip raptors are drawn at 45 degrees from each corner. Uh, I was checking to ensure that the rafters are 50 millimeter wide and are 600 millimeters center to center. Very, very important. This is a must. First thing I, I, I look for is to ensure that your, rafter, your hip rafters are at 45 degrees and that your, your rafters are placed, that the thickness of the rafter on the plan is 50 millimeters wide and um, 600 millimeters apart. Your ridge board is 50 millimeters wide. And uh, if button or, pure, or button or purulene are used, they are placed, they are 50, 50 millimeters wide by 50 millimeters. And they are, at, they are spaced between 700 to 1,000 millimeters apart. If ply boards are used, check to ensure that those are there, ply board and or underlay. And of course, your roof or covering material. So this would be a checklist for your autographic view. Um, uh, I will check to ensure that um, each of you would approve the complete roof plan in AutoCAD. Angles of projection has been established, either first or third angle. The correct orientation of the of autographic views are consistent with the projection. The overhang is established. The fascia board is 225. The correct roof pitch has been drawn, which can be between 15 to 60 degrees. The roofing material has been drawn using drawn be it shingle, tile, or zinc. The window has been drawn in line with the, with, 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 um, the floor plan. And, and the sill is between four to six feet above ground. All external doors are drawn in line with the floor plan. And veranda arcs, balusters are drawn where applicable. Columns are, orient, are oriented properly on the different views. So those are the checklists for your autographic view. Checklist for your section and view. I will check in to ensure that your, ex, your walls are between 150 millimeters to 170. Hatch pattern that you use is GIS underscore LC underscore 8A and is scale at 20. The window sectional detail, if cut, is visible and that is shown. The section through the fixture, if cut, is also shown. Section through door, if cut, is also shown. So, the, the rafter is 150 millimeters or 50 millimeter wide relative to the plane of cut. All right. The ridge board is 50 millimeter or 200 millimeters, right? Relative to the cutoff plane. Um, so, everything here is pretty much in line. The ring beam is there. I'll be checking to ensure that um, you, you, um, underlay are there your ring beam is 150 by 300 your wall plate is 50 by 75 50 by 75 and your ring beam to floor is between 2700 to 3000 the cutting plane line xy is that the ground level line is in line with always all right so that's basically a checklist for that